Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves fun and development. In today's video, I will be going through some handy tools, apps and resources that you suggested that we should be using as developers and designers. Links to all the resources, tools and apps are in the description. And now let's go straight into it. So yesterday I asked what people use what are some underrated apps and tools that you can use every day as a designer or developer? Okay, and by underrated, I mean something that people might not know about. Of course, if you say Figma and Photoshop and Chrome and a few Chrome extensions, I was looking for something smaller and I started with the Better Snap tool. It's great to be able to organize your windows on the screen. And for that, I use the Better Snap tool. So I'll actually switch to show my entire screen that will be they will make it much easier to understand what it does sometimes when i'm recording i want to record only the top right screen so when when you see this win window that's that's the right size for recording of youtube video and if i use screen flow or something to record it i don't want to be manually resizing to the correct size i know there is a chrome extension I think it's called window resizer that I can simply click on and let's say click on this and it will resize it for me. So that's fantastic. That's good. But the problem there is that it only works in Chrome. And all I want to do is to resize this and also VS code. And I've got predefined sections on the screen. Let's say I want to put this to the top right of my screen and that window resizes. And sometimes I want to record a video where I have the VS code on one side and maybe one third of the screen should be my browser or hit shift and drag it to the two thirds of the screen and then the Chrome will be one third. Okay. And again, I'm recording just that full HD resolution and I know it will be fully two thirds of it will be VS code and one third will be browser. I'm curious to know what you're using as a window application manager. Tom replied, SVG OMG. Of course, SVG OMG is a tool that lets you modify and optimize your SVGs. Here is a SVG that I found, bank. Okay, green sock logo. You can, you can check some of these checkboxes and if you don't want to clean up IDs, of course, if you don't want to clean it up, then the file size is not going to get as small. But with the default settings, you can download it and you're saving 87% of the file size. So very handy. And so SVG OMG is a good one. Squoosh, squoosh. Okay, let's open this one. Can I drag it? Yeah, drag and drop. Okay, so I drag and drop an image. Here it is. Here is it before and after. Compress, okay, WWebP, how much smaller would that be? 43% smaller. Okay, so you can compress it, you can change it from different formats to another one. That's pretty cool. 43% smaller with these settings. And the quality, you wouldn't know that there is any difference. Okay, so very handy tool to resize images, optimize them. Guestimer, never heard about Guestimer. So I don't miss meeting calls while I'm coding. So what is Guestimer? Let's find out. Guestimer is beautiful Mac menu bar for those little reminders during the day. All right. So it looks like you just drag it from the top of the screen to remind you in one hour, one hour and 30 to do whatever. Get a cup of coffee. That's good. I'm actually getting one now. Even without Guestimer, I managed to get that done. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Brian suggested text snipper. So let's have a look at text snipper. You take a screenshot and it gives you the text from that. That that sounds pretty good. Sometimes it's very hard to capture text or you might be also lazy just not not, not typing it in, but that sounds good if you could just select piece of text or piece of video and then it copies the text inside of your clipboard. Okay, not sure when I would use it or if I use it, if I would use it so much. Keyboard clean tool. What does keyboard clean tool? Super simple tool 
which blocks all keyboard and touch bar input. All right. <laughs> I see what you mean. When you're cleaning up your keyboard and the computer's on and you would just swipe the whole keyboard, you would get a lot of shortcuts triggered and this just prevents it. Mac actually <laughs> disables it because it's not safe or not useful. That's interesting, but what is another way? If this is not useful, then what is another way how you're cleaning your keyboards? Yeah, so for me, this actually looks like it's useful. Why not to install it? More apps you have, the more, the better person you are, the more hard drive you're taking up. So let's install as much as you can <laughs> while you can. So hey, it's over from Greg. It looks like it only makes the current window pop up and everything else sort of fades or dims down behind it. And what are your other tools? What, what other tools are you using? Let me know in the chat. By the way, if, if this is the first time you are on my stream, then um, welcome. My name is Peter and I'm the guy behind this Twitch channel, YouTube channel and, and a blog. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if there is, or I don't know, what is, is it subscribe on Twitch? Subscribe or follow? You know the deal. You probably watched more Twitch videos than me. <laughs> Rob from One Page Love is saying image optim. Okay, so let's let's open image optim for people who don't know what that is. Also, someone replied image alpha. So these two apps, image optim is actually downloadable application that you can download and you can just drag in images to the window to optimize them okay if you drag in multiple images then you can optimize them in a batch so very handy if you need to optimize a folder full of images and then download them and of course it tells you how much how much you save the bandwidth or the size of the images so that would be image optim and image alpha if you're working with transparent images you know that they are big big pngs and this image alpha optimizes the transparency so again you have a, a smaller file size at the end of it and jürgen jürgen suggested it's not really a tool or app but it's aggregated Twitter bot, which means automatically it tweets about handy tools for front-end developers, tiny helper dev. So I guess it's more for developers, but I've seen some cool stuff here that is more for designers too. And I could be going through this timeline. There's a lot of handy apps. I'm not going to do that. No, it was this one. Device shots. Create device mockups in seconds. High resolution device. Alrighty, so let's say... We want to have a nice laptop screen. Here it is, MacBook Pro. You drag in some items. Okay, so to obtain the best result, you use image with specific size. And of course, I just randomly dragged in a simple small circle image, which doesn't work. Alrighty, here you can put it on canvas. So if you're creating, let's say, Twitter image, you could have it nicely centered. And how do you change the background? Can you modify the background? Oh, here it is. Alrighty. Nice. That's very nice. I like this. And of course, if you have the right image. So let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Let's create some nice image that we put in the background here. And we've got a nice background, which should match that size. Okay. So if I go to this, that looks much better. Alrighty. I really like this. I think I'll be using it more often just to quickly create some cool images for social media. So that was deviceshots.com. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this. I actually enjoyed going through your suggestions and I'm sure you will leave in the comments some other tools and apps that I forgot. So let me know in the comments, what did I miss and what should we use or what are you using on a daily basis that helps you with your productivity and your workflow in general. I can't wait to check your suggestions out and if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future videos until then happy coding bye